Okay, welcome to my principle video that takes a bit longer but is more exhaustive. So the question is how to do a Chinese visa. And we will start with going to the Chinese consular website, which is something else. It's not the embassy, it's not the consular service. It's another entity that processes your visa. Let's start with going to the website and I'm going to select Switzerland because where I live there and Zurich. So we have now the specific website for your country and your city. And there are a few informations like there is no appointment needs and also there are no fingerprints that need to be collected. It depends on the country and on the time. So really, yeah, it's information based on your location. Now, what you want to do is to go to step-by-step -step guide if you don't have me. But now we're going to go to the quick access because I'm going to explain to you and do a new application form. Here we are. And you can also manage application. And after the application, you can do an appointment. And with the code that you have, you can also go to history. But yeah, let's agree. And let's fill out all this information and it's going to take some time. So start a new application. You are from Zurich. You have to slide here. And the first thing is the name. Okay. So you write your name. You write your other names if you have some, or then if you're not ap applicable and Chinese names, if you want, it's everything all written very clearly. So about the further requirements, there they are. You need to have like your face very even and no blur. Everything is white on the background. And as you can see here, it's gray on my background. So it doesn't work. And now it's white. The photo is qualified. What did I do? I went on Google. I made this picture. I said, remove background. And now it's white. So it worked. So um, date of birthday, gender, place of birth. And... I write Switzerland, Zurich, Zurich. So, okay. Then if you're married or not, I'm single. Then nationality, Switzerland. There you write your ID number. I didn't write one because, uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube. But normally you write also your ID number. Then you have these other questions and then the passport. Passport's most important. Remember to write the whole name, even middle names and etc. Just copy your passport. That's very important also when booking your flight. Then where was it issued, the place and until when it expires. That's very important. And a one, one. Yes, perfect. Yes, should be valid more than six months. That's for sure. Then the second is you are a tourist, independent. If you are a group, normal the group does this for you, the application. Normal is quite okay. You know, for the service, it's going to take like three or four days to get your visa back. Then how long do you want to stay there? I'm going to stay here for the maximum, three and 90 days, double entry, but it's maybe a bit too much for you, so let's do 2 and 60. Double entry, it means you can go outside of China and come back again twice, double. Multiple entries is then for another visa, like you want to stay there for a year or you want to have a valid validity of your visa for one year. Maybe you are married or you have parents there, so that's okay. Work information. You write everything about your work, number, your boss, etc. I'm going to write here just a few examples. They're a bit quirky and um, it's just to, yeah, it's just as an example, you know, it's just to fill out these forms as true as possible with a few jokes. And yeah, that's, that's just it. So just, yeah, I'm self-employed since birth. I wrote 1990 in uh, the application form when I was born. So yeah, I'm myself since 1990 and I'm also going to write um, a few other things like, uh, yeah, my path. 
number and then let's um, let's see my position I'm gonna write um, I think yeah yeah that's a good one myself so, yeah. so that, that's that let's continue with uh, the job okay and now my supervisor is my my mother what else maybe your father you can uh, you can choose yourself and then uh, yeah also the phone number but just to be clear you need to fill out everything about everyone to be very simple you know and then you can add experience this is I think just to see um, if you already work, if you have enough money and it's normally used if you want to apply for a job or for a longer visa. It's here. It's just filler in my opinion, but they just want to know everything. Okay. Diploma degree. You do um, what you have. If you want to university, if you have uh, just high school and etc. whatever, you can write it inside, even your major. Then family information. We are already at section five and you need to write everything about um, about your family. So first of all, you, you, you write your address. You did it be this before, I know, but you do it again. So you write your address, your street, your city and everything else. Phone numbers, email addresses, that's everything for you. Then family members. If you don't have a father or your father went away, you can just write non-applicable and then specify. But you write your name of your father, you write uh, his surname, you write where his nationality, you write his uh, year he was born, his birthday, and if he ever was in China. You do the same thing with your mother. And then also, if you have children, the same thing with your, your children. So you get, you get the idea here. It's uh, similar to other visas, like if you want to go to India or somewhere else, you need to write everything. Names, middle names, year of your family, of your children, of your um, bosses, where you work, uh, what your education is, what your diplomas are, everything. So... Now, section six. Six is more important because if you have written like a wrong phone number of your boss, I don't think that's going to be a big problem and they're not going to call normally, especially if you're like living in America or in Europe. But travel information is very important. They need to know where you want to go. Now, one important thing. They're not really going to check this. So if you go somewhere else during your stay, they're not going to worry. You, you, know that you don't have to worry or say something to someone. You're really free in China. So this is just for them to know. But it's normal. you can just go anywhere you want, actually. But yeah, let's keep it this. We are in Beijing. You go to this hotel and you write from when to when. This is more, this you can keep true, you know, you, you go from the first day to the last day you stay in Beijing. Okay, maybe your plans are others, you want to go with the train to Xi'an, where the terracotta warriors are of the first emperor. No problem, you go there, you go to the train station, buy a ticket, it's going to be a bit complicated, but it's okay. It's just because uh, you don't speak Chinese and they don't speak English. You book a ticket. You go there with a high-speed train and that's it. Really easy. You have to write your... Um, but let's come back here. Let's um, write your country of departure and etc. If you know it. Then, inviting person or organizations to China. Maybe you are for work there or maybe um, somewhere someone invites you, a friend. You can write it there, but normally not. So emergency information, just if something happens. And then the information is who will pay for this travel. Uh, normally it's yourself or if it's uh, your father who, uh, who, who pays it, just write self again because uh, it's easier. Then last one, person showing the same passport. I, I don't know really what this means. Just like now. 
travel information from the past, if you've been there, um, if you had other visas, if you have other visas of other countries, and which countries you have visited in the last 12 months. I mean, if you have visited like some war countries or, um, or, or something else that's suspicious, yeah, that's why. But normally that's it. Then uh, let's continue with the last section. The last section is about your other information, and that's a bit more harsh. Like, did you do a criminal offense? Were you in the military? Are you in uh, some special organization? Or are you a terrorist? I was in Switzerland. I'm in Switzerland. Everyone has to do the military. So if I write here and I've written it, I wrote, I went to the military. I'm a lieutenant. Um, I've done uh, more than a few years in the military. And uh, that's actually true. And... This is what you have to write. You write out the truth, and for me in Switzerland, because it's mandatory, it's not a big problem. The military, okay, whatever. Other countries, other rules, I would say. Then, section 10, you see everything. You declare that you accept this um, present uh, application, that you've done this, and normally you can then download it. We're not going to do this. We're going to do something else. Declaration GDPR forms. You have also to fill out this file. So we have done the application. We have this GDPR file. And I really want you to check out also my website. It's called travelfrugally.com. It explains again step by step what you have to do with a different, uh, yeah, what permis means. I don't know. It's maybe your driving permit. Um, I didn't, I never had something like this. I didn't apply for it either. Then based on the checklist, we have the application form. You have to do the passport copy, the declaration of GDPR, permits, I don't know what this is. Um, I didn't either use it anyway, but uh, so you can leave it out. Then if your passport is newer than 2016, you have to have a declaration form and it's written. It's going to be next page uh, after two. You have to write in there, I didn't have one or I'd lost it and etc. And then five is the copy of travel confirmations. Travel confirmations were easy. You have to have both fly flights, forth and back that match the application form. And then if you're there for three weeks you need to have at least for one and a half weeks the hotels booked and that's it this is an example of the personal statement that you can fill out there this is what i wrote because i didn't know that this there exists this document and here is the photo requirements and that's it so i hope you liked this video it was about how to get from the application to a real visa and it looks very long, I know, but it's really just information, basic information about your name, where you live, your work, and etc. It might be a lot, but it's what they want to know. And once you've done that, everything is going to go very smooth. Keep this information that you used. You're going to use it again for another visa in another country or something else. So that's it. Have a nice day and thank you very much. Bye.